Hi guys and welcome back. Today what we're going to be doing is reviewing lines, learning how to draw rectangles, and putting it all together. And in the next video after this, we'll be drawing an object just using those few commands. So let's get to it. But before we get to it, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And click that little notification icon if you wish to be notified when we create new content. All right, so simple enough. We're just going to review the line command really quick. So first things to note, we have dynamic input mode on. And uh, if you don't have this little button right down here, make sure you click the little three lines over here and put dynamic input on. I know it's cut off your screen, but it should be the icon with a checkbox here. If it doesn't have a checkbox, that means you're missing it. Give it a check. All right. So first things first, let's draw a line. So lines are pretty easy. We kind of went over them in the basics video. Um, we're just going to review them real quick as they're important to the basis of everything we do. So lines again, pick a point somewhere. Now, when you get here with dynamic input on note, you can hit tab to switch between the distance and the angle. So if I want to draw a five foot line at 45 degrees, I can type 45 enter. Now, if I want to do the same thing, maybe I want to go zero. So I'm going to go five tab and I don't know which way I want to go. Like I just, I'm unsure but I want to just preview it real quick. So if I type in, let's say 10 and I hit tab again, instead of enter, it'll preview it for me and shows me what it's about to do. And if I like it, I can hit enter. So again, you can continue along line, line drawing lines like that. That is the most popular way to draw them. And again, you can always use your po polar tracking in complements of it, which is this green line that's showing up at every 45 degrees. So polar tracking again, it's sound down here, it's this button here. If it's on, it'll snap to all the angles that you've selected. So if I wanted to snap it at every five degrees, I can click that, go in the line command. Now every five degrees, it kind of ticks up like the like a watch. All right, so again, that's just one more way to draw a line. So I can draw lines from this guy here every five degrees. If I wanted, okay, I want to go 20. All right, now I want to go 10. So again, launching C5, 40, 105, 130. But isn't it easier if you just typed it in and just specified I want to go 150? All right, so again, remember, you can use it in conjunction. Now, if you don't have dynamic input on, all those commands look weird. First of all, when you get into the line command, you click a point to start. Note, it doesn't have any information on that line. So this is where you might need something along the lines of these auto snaps, not every five though, but maybe we go every 30. So it'll just snap at 30 degrees here. And I can say, okay, I wanna go 30 degrees at 10. And then I wanna go 30 degrees in this direction right off of it. And I wanna go five. And then I wanna go in this direction 10. And then I wanna go in this direction five. And you guys can see the point here. You can draw a lot of lines using polar tracking even without dynamic input. And if you're feeling nostalgic and you want to go back a few years, um, you can always click the line command, pick your point as usual, hit the at symbol like you were sending out a tweet, and otherwise known as the distance symbol in AutoCAD, and then put the less than symbol in, otherwise, or sorry, the angle symbol, otherwise known as the less than symbol, then the angle 45, and it'll draw a line at 545. You'll see the input right there. Um, so it's kind of slick, it's the old way of doing it, and it still works, but it's not as efficient as just going into here, clicking where you want to start your line. For instance, I'm going to go to 0, 0. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, roll the mouse towards me. And then again, 5, tab, 45, tab, looks good, enter. And maybe I go this way now. 5, tab, negative 45, tab. You know, you, so you can kind of mess around with it, and you can kind of see how it changed. And I'm still snapping using the polar tracking but see how it snaps doesn't snaps at 30 60 30 60 so you can kind of see how polar tracking might also help you in the other section now the other way to draw lines in autocad and honestly we've been drawing five by five squares right there's a much easier way to draw it um, if we click this little rectangle button here and then you pick a point in your drawing perhaps maybe zero comma zero if you want zero enter tab zero tab all right so if we put it at zero zero there we have a few different ways of doing this a we can just kind of put another coordinate point in if we really wanted to b we can hit a for area and i can say i want it to be 1000 square feet and i want it to be based on a length of 50 feet and it'll put in a 
rectangle that is a thousand square feet with a base length of 50 and that will give you this object here or we could go here and we could pick zero comma zero again and put it in and we can hit D for dimension and I can say I need a five enter five enter so a five by five square so again just paying attention to the inputs will get you there so again pick a point anywhere doesn't have to be zero zero at this case hit A for area if that's something you're into then do a thousand square feet if that's what you want and then hey I want to base it on width now of 50 and then zoom out again roll the mouse towards you and you get this lovely square based on that same thing again click it again pick a point except this time I want to do dimensions and I want to do a length of 10 and a width of seven and a half and it'll go through that as well I think I might have messed that up so I'll do it once more so I'm going to click here hit D for dimension and I'm going to do a width or sorry a length of 10 and a width of 7.5 and that will put this guy in here which gives us kind of the basis for a simple eight and a half by 11 title block it's just kind of like the outside boundaries of a landscape version so again very easy to do it's not too bad um, the other thing to note in here is when you're deleting lines is just click on them like so and then hit the delete key now if you don't like doing that and you don't like using the delete key you can always click on this eraser icon right here otherwise known as erase click that and then click the lines in which you want to remove and then hit enter and that will remove them as well so a few different ways to do it drawing lines is actually pretty simple we didn't learn too much than we learned in the basics video but after this video the next video is going to be drawing an object and putting all those things we've learned so far together and then after that we're going to learn circles in week two here as well hi guys and thank you for watching the video make sure you if you haven't done so already you subscribe to the channel and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and it helped you out also make sure to click that notification bell if you wish to be notified when we upload new videos 